This is one of the craziest true crime stories I think I've ever heard. Hello, true crimers! This is the case of the Baraboo Bone Breaker. Pictured here is 13-year-old Fad Phillips from Baraboo, Wisconsin. And on the night of July 29th, 1995, he was asleep on the couch in his family's new house. Suddenly someone picks him up off the couch and he was in such like a sleepy daze that he just assumed it was a parent who was just going to bring him up to his bed. When he woke up fully, he wasn't in his room. He was outside with a teenage boy he didn't know. This boy was extremely friendly. He asked Fad, hey, do you want to come back to my house and hang out? Fad, still kind of disoriented, said, okay, sure. The boy would introduce himself as Joe. In fact, he was 17-year-old Joseph Clark. He told Thad, we're going to throw a party here really soon. He was name dropping some of Thad's friends to kind of get him, you know, wrapped up in this. Joe said, hey, you want to go upstairs and check out my cool model car collection? Thad's like, okay, sure, yeah. Once they were upstairs, Joe completely changed. Again, viewer discretion is advised and severe trigger warning. Joe took Thad and threw him on top of a dirty bed, jumped on top of him, grabbed him by the leg, he twisted Fad's foot around until his ankle literally snapped and the bone broke. Fad was like, oh my god, he like jumped up even though his ankle was broken, tried to run away, but Joe caught him, grabbed him, started punching him, kicking him. Fad would later say he felt a really strong friction in his legs. Ugh. Joe then threw him downstairs, put him on the couch, and Thad tried reasoning with him. He asked Joe, why are you doing this? Joe said that he enjoyed the sound and the feeling of bones breaking at his whim. He told Thad he had done it before, and that he loved it. Joe would then continue to basically torture Thad, and then he would flip back to being like best buds with him. They would watch movies together. The attacks would be based on Joe's anger. Like one day, his car wouldn't start, so he twisted both of Thad's legs until they splintered. He then broke his knees, jumped on his chest. This went on for 43 hours. He was going days without food. He attempted three different escapes. When Joe left, he locked Thad in a closet upstairs. One night when Joe was gone, Thad threw himself down the stairs with broken legs, broken knees, broken ankles. He crawled to a phone and called 911. He was rescued and he survived. Joe was arrested. He then admitted to doing the same thing to two different boys before, and he had plans to continue doing it to others. In 1994, he killed 14-year-old Christian Steiner. Joe went on trial and got life without parole, and Thad can walk again.